So I'm Samantha Forrest. I'm Brian. <laughs> and we're going to talk about self-care. This is going to be just kind of like an intro and we're going to make this into a series for you guys and break it down over a few days um, because there are a lot of aspects to self-care. So, yes, that's right, sister from another mister. Um, so self-care is basically you making a choice to take care of yourself <laughs> first you know that um, on the airplane if you've ever flown in one where they tell you if the event of an emergency you pull down your oxygen mask first put yours on first and then help other people it's basically the same thing in life the more that you fill your own cup first the more you can give to other people and you'll find yourself happier more fulfilled and your relationships will be better so <laughs> so what? I don't know. Do you want to add anything? I don't know. All right. Good talk. <laughs> Should have just left him upstairs. Should have just left him. <laughs> well, anyway, so there are a few different aspects to self care. There's the physical that you know a lot of us take do. Well, at least we do. Um, physical, emotional, spiritual. Mental, I kind of feel like I said that one already, right? I guess mental, physical, spiritual, it, it's all different. Yeah, so there's a lot of different aspects to it and we'll cover each one over the next few days. But for this in particular, we just wanted you to be more aware of the choices that you make. I know I have a topic I want to talk about later, which is people pleasing and he tells me that it's stupid, but I feel like a lot of us really suffer from that. I know I'm guilty firsthand um, and I'll talk all about that and how to kind of overcome that stuff on another day. But anything you want to talk about self-care 101, the intro to it, <laughs> nothing? I don't know. I guess for a base of uh, trying to figure out self-care um, and make things better for yourself is waking up each day and if there's things that bother you through the day or things that you constantly think about that you bother you or you want to change um, that way on your mind that you feel that makes yourself a little bit more miserable than you should be. I guess them are be the things you work on first. Um, for a lot of people, including myself, I mean, for me, it's it's uh, you know trying to lose weight and staying fit. That's a big one. Um, I think the bigger one than that is uh, everything that happens up in this grape over here. Um, trying to keep that right. Um, we both have very busy lives and we have kids that's stressful. We have animals that is self-induced, all this crap. Um, so <laughs> Super it's kind of, stressful with animals. So you have all this stress and all that and you have to learn how to deal with it and cope with it and try to make it work towards you, not against you. Um, you know, create a challenge for yourself on how to provide yourself during the week and, and make things less stressful. But uh, I lost my train of thought because... You keep saying, um... Yeah, <laughs> fucking lights are blinding the shit out of me. But, uh, um. uh, I had a teacher in high school. He used to say uh, uh, after uh. everything, and now I'm becoming uh, a clone of him with the um. But yeah, um, uh, see, it's a, and now it's involuntary. But it's totally find the things. Take a look over because, like she said, we're gonna go over it a couple days here and uh, touch on different things. Start thinking about the stuff that bothers you and uh, what you can do to make it better. Sometimes it's the smallest little thing. Sometimes it's a great huge thing that you have to chip away at. But um, taking care of yourself, hence the self-care, is going to help you defeat all that stuff. So Yeah, so get a notebook out. Start thinking about things in your life that you want to improve upon um, for yourself. This has nothing to do with anybody else in your life. I mean, you taking care of yourself will help those other things, but so we want you to focus on you right now. You know, is it that you want to lose weight? Is it that you want to eat better? Is it that you wake up, you have a hard time waking up in the morning or you can't get going? Um, that you feel like you're angry all the time or that you're sad all the time? Like, whatever the things are, you don't have to necessarily tell us, but Start writing them down and over the course of the next few days, we'll try to help walk you through different things mm -hmm. that you can do to improve upon those 
um, aspects of your life that maybe you feel like you're failing in at the moment and improve over time. So, anything else? No. It's all geared towards just having self-confidence. Mm -hmm. it, and it doesn't, like I say, it doesn't have to be anything big. Sometimes it's a small thing that's bothering you. You think it's that huge mountain in front of you that's bothering you. It's that small thing. Maybe, maybe you get a haircut and then it changes your whole attitude, your, your demeanor, your persona, and people are like, wow, you know, I want to be like her. She carries herself a different way, or he does. Um, so think about it. Maybe your feet hurt all the time. Just soak them bitches in some Epsom salt, you know what I mean? Get some Calgon bath, you know? Let it take you away. This is tough. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm> so corny. <laughs> Alright, well that's all we have for you guys today. Self-Care 101. Tomorrow we'll bring up a new topic on how to start with your mental. We'll start with mental because that one's a big one for the both of us. So you guys have a good evening and we'll talk to you tomorrow.